Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about electron deflections, one of the very important topic of scattering spectroscopy. So electron diffraction, what is electron diffraction? The basic introduction is electron diffraction method is based on the wave nature of matter. This phenomena is commonly known as wave particle duality. So basically electron diffraction method is based on wave nature of matter. So what is the wave nature of matter? Basically matter shows two nature. Uh, first is wave and second is particle so basically uh, this electron diffraction method is based on this wave nature of matter not particle nature of matter so this phenomena is also known as wave particle duality in case uh, when you appear in your semester exam so uh, when uh, the question has come like what is the wave particle duality so you don't confuse it is similar to electron diffraction the same concept used in electron diffraction and wave particle du uh, duality so basically uh, these uh, both are same and which state that a particle of matter can be described as a wave this technique is similar to x-ray and neutral uh, neutron diffraction so basically electron diffraction technique is similar to x-ray and neutron diffraction and the electron diffraction is most frequently used in solid state physics and chemistry to study the crystal structure of solid okay so this these are the basic uh, introductions about electron diffraction and uh, I, I provide a handmade note which is i hope helpful for your semester exam as well as any competition exam uh, preparations now the theory portion of electron diffraction is uh, Louis de Broglie originated the idea that moving electron may exhibit both particle and wave nature he proposed that analogous to photon the wavelength of the electron is given by so basically when we find out the wavelength of any electron so this formula we use lambda equal to h upon p where p is momentum of electron which also den denoted by m v so basically lambda equal to h upon uh, mv this um, formula is given by louis de broglie and it is very important formula uh, for electron diffraction this is the prince uh, this is a theory portion of electron diffraction where h is planck constant and p equal to mv is the non relative electron momentum so basically these are the basic principle uh, in this principle electron diffractions are work and this experiment is an attempt to see whether electron really do act like particles okay now the two condition we uh, we get after using this theory in electron diffractions we get two important conditions uh, that's our first is if electron behave as particle okay the first condition is if electron behave as particle rigid sphere the distribution of electrons will vary continuously as a function of angle as in diagram this distribution will vary only slightly with change in electron energy so these are the first condition we get and uh, these are the electron beam and this carbon tar uh, carbon target when electron be beam are passed through this target uh, so the electron energy when a very uh, yeah distribution of electron will vary continuously as a function of angle in diagram these are the angle in diagram we uh, vary uh, that electrons by this angle of diagram so these are the first important uh, condition and the second important condition is if electron behave as a wave however a diffraction pattern will emerge emerge uh, we can make on analogy with the diffraction of x-ray by a crystal these are the second important condition so these are the important conditions now the instrumentation uh, part we discuss about uh, the electron diffractions uh, instrumentation of electron diffraction is also very important uh, some kind of important diagram which is very important uh, is very important to understand the concept of electron diffraction basically what we do electron gun it's a it is one of the type of electron source we use uh, tungsten uh, is used to provide uh, produce the electron beam so that's why we use electron gun and uh, after electron after after some time before uh, entering a thin graphic screen the electron shows particle property but after this thin uh, graphite uh, after this electron pass through this thin graphic screen uh, electron shows suddenly wave properties okay and we use the evacuated uh, tube this is and um, when electron gun when electron gun is just passed through this uh, uh, thin graphite screen uh, we uh, we get uh, 
yeah and then electron source wave property after we get uh, we get two type of diffraction ring first is uh, first this is uh, when we use low accelerating voltage we get this diffraction ring and when we use high accelerating voltage we get uh, this ring this diffraction ring so these are the basic uh, instrumentation part of electron diffraction and these are the basic diagram of that to understand the concept so basically electron can produce electron beam and electron that electron shows particle property before uh, that uh, pass through the thin graphic screen and after uh, that electron pass in thin graphic screen uh, then electron shows web properties and then we get two diffraction ring so these are the basic uh, instrumentation uh, you said uh, of electron diffractions okay now the important point is uh, important topic the other important topic related to electron diffraction is electron diffraction of gases and vapors it is also very important individual topic as you say for your semester exam and any exam preparations so like uh, electron diffraction of gases and vapors what is electron diffraction of gases provide a powerful tool for determine uh, determining the geometric configuration of molecule and the distance between atom in them so basically the uh, electron diffraction of gases is used is a very powerful uh, tool to determine the geometric configuration of any compound or any mo molecules the principle of this procedure is much similar to that of powder method of x-ray analysis when a beam of monochromatic x-ray is passed through a gas or vapor and the diffracted beam is allowed to fall on a photographic plate for several hours, a definite pattern consisting of a um, number of concentric ring is obtained on the photographic plate. So these are the basic uh, principle that uh, in this principle electron diffraction of gases is work. Um, I hope you understand. So basically the principle of procedure is also uh, like a um, similar to powder matter of that X-ray analysis. Now the schematic diagram of this electron diffraction of gases, uh, it is very important to understand the concept. So basically this filament is an uh, electron gun we use to produce electron beam. So uh, and we also use accelerating voltage to accelerate this uh, electron beam monochromatic x-ray. Uh, then uh, these are the jet of molecules and this is important part of this instrumentation to produce uh, to produce gas or vapors so basically when uh, this electron beam monochromatic x-ray you also said is passed through this gas and vapors uh, that diffracted in photographic plate okay and these are pump pumping line also used in this uh, instrumentation so basically like uh, basically filament is used to uh, pro uh, produce electron beam then electron beam uh, certainly uh, pass through the uh, il uh, that uh, gases and vapors then it diffracted in photographic plate and after a definite pattern consisting of a number of concentric ring is obtained on the photographic plate so these are the basic principle of electron diffraction of uh, gases and vapors very important uh, schematic diagram of this is uh, so the, the diffraction of electron by gases and vapors is one of the most important method for measuring bond distance and bond angle okay like example uh, this is the example of that uh, compound like uh, carbon tetrachloride this is a bond between cl and cl the bond length is 285 uh, picometer and the geometric configuration is also find out the geometric configuration of any compound so this is tetrahedral and now the sulfur hexafluoride sf6 uh, the bond length between between s and f 158 picometer and the geometry is octahedral uh, in c2h5 is ethylene uh, the bond bond length between c and c bond one 133 pm and the geometry uh, geometry configuration is hcs is the bond angle is uh 115.15 degree and the uh, fourth important example is uh, cs3cl uh, chloromethane uh, the bond length between bond c and h the bond length is uh, 111 picometer and the geometric configuration uh, between HCC bond the bond angle is uh, 110 degree so these are the uh, uh, important example of uh, electron diffraction of gases and vapors because electron diffraction of get, uh, gases and vapors is very important matter for measuring uh, bond distance and bond length okay now the application portion of this important uh, topic is um, 
application of electron diffraction is uh, electron diffraction study of some compound the first important application is brockway and cross suggested tetrahedral structure of nickel carbonyl nico4 by electron diffraction matter okay so Bro brockway and cross two uh, uh, famous chemists suggest tetrahedral structure of nickel carbonyl by using electron diffraction method okay so this is a very important application of electron diffraction second important application is the intranuclear distance uh, nic and coo bond distance have been found to be 182 plus minus 3 picometer and 115 picometer respectively this is the second important application third is the oxygen bond angle in chlorine uh, non-oxide was found to be 111 degree and similar method have been applied to determine the shape of other uh, simple molecules and fourth important application is uh, determination of interatomic distance by electron diffraction study the interatomic distance in uh, carbon dioxide and 2o carbon suboxide and uh, Cyanogen shows the existence of resonance. These are the example of existence of resonance. Um, it's shown by uh, carbon dioxide CO2. It's OC triple bond O plus, and this is the resonance of exist existence resonance of carbon dioxide. This also shows uh, shown by. Uh, it's also very important uh, application of electron diffraction that we get existence of resonance of these compounds like uh, interatomic distance in uh, carbon dioxide and others. So uh, uh, yeah, the distance between the interatomic distance is so uh, the uh, existence of resonance. So these are the very important application and uh, uh, this is the uh, complete discuss about electron diffraction. I hope uh, this concept and this handmade notes will helpful for your exam preparations. Uh, so if it's if you find this uh, video is helpful for you, so please stay connect with channel for more videos and please support like share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.